So in the past, I've used AI to help me close five-figure brand deals, find the best investment properties, build landing pages, write copy for those landing pages, write contracts to better understand certain contracts as well, find the best service providers, and overall just help me to make more money. And the craziest part about all of this is that everything I've done is entry level and I've still made a pretty penny using AI. And it's come to my attention that a lot of people are either afraid of AI or simply just don't know how they can utilize AI to overall make more money and level up their finances. Now, if you fall into this category, don't worry because I've got you. You've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to step-by-step -step utilize AI to either build a business, a brand, or both online. I just want to show you this clip really quick. Oh, that's that right. little mark with the A and then the ring around it. At? See, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. um, Katie said she thought it was about. Yeah. Oh. But I'd never heard or it. I'd never heard it said. I'd always around. seen the mark, but never yeah. heard it said. And then yeah. it sounded stupid when I said it. See, <laughs> there it is. Violence at NBC. G E com. I mean, but what, Allison should know. What, what do you is say internet that anyway? Internet is uh, that massive computer right. network. Mm -hmm. The one that's becoming really big now. What, is one, what do you write to it? Like mail? No, a lot of people use it and communicate. I guess they can communicate with NBC writers and producers. Allison, can you explain what internet is? I also want to show you this clip. Cash or credit? What? The home of the Whopper is offering cash or credit. I think it's pretty bad if you have to use a credit card when you go to a fast food restaurant. Burger King bosses say workers won't have to figure out how much change the customer gets back. I just hope it doesn't slow things down at the cash cash and carry that people are going to be having to call New York and get get the confirmation or, you know, whatever it is, because when I want a Whopper, I want it now. Now, could you imagine living in today's day and age and not understanding how to send an email, how to format an email address, how to utilize a credit card? you would just simply be left behind. And that thought process reminds me of a quote that I read on Business Insider. I'm paraphrasing, but I'll leave the actual quote. It said, AI will not replace humans. It will replace humans that don't know how to utilize AI. You know, back in the day, they thought that credit cards will replace cashier's jobs, and it actually didn't. But what it did do is it limited the options for people who didn't understand how to use credit or credit cards. For example, the other day we were in Toronto visiting family. It was my mom's 60th birthday. Happy belated birthday, mommy. And we were renting a car because I no longer live in Toronto. And there was a couple in front of us who had reserved a car online to rent, but in person they needed a credit card in order to rent the car. And they weren't able to do so because they didn't have a credit card. And they were stumped. The customer service rep, unfortunately, didn't know what to say, didn't know what to do, had no options for them. They said, I'm so sorry, there's nothing we can do for you if you don't have a credit card. So in that circumstance, they were just limited for options because they didn't have a credit card. The pandemic kind of sped things up, but a lot of restaurants and establishments have moved to a cashless system. And so if you don't have a credit card, if you don't have a debit card, they can't service you because they don't even have a cash register with change. If there's one thing to note, it's that AI is here to stay. It's helped so many people improve their lives and make more money and live a better overall lifestyle. And so it is here to stay. And it's important that you get with the times because when tech advances happen, they don't just disappear so no one else can use them. People who know how to use them, use them to their benefit. People who don't know how to use them just end up kind of getting left behind, unfortunately. And I know I'm comparing AI to simple things like email or credit cards, but these two, once upon a time, were new. Those clips that I showed you were from 1994, which was only 30 years ago, meaning a lot of you were still alive. A lot of your parents were alive. People who lived it and experienced it are still alive and well and kicking. They're still productive members of society. They still work. They still pay taxes. They still need to function in today's day and age. And so when the internet was first introduced to the masses, the people who were intrigued by it and decided to learn it were able to benefit the most. The people who limited their access to it are those who are still kind of not tech savvy. And it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks to be left behind in a society that is so tech forward. But it happens when people are not curious enough to learn the new things. And I don't want you to get left behind, friend. That's why I want to stress to you that AI is here to help. You do not need to be intimidated by it. Don't be afraid of it. AI is your friend. AI is your best friend. So let's say you wanted to start an online business and you wanted to use AI to help you out. 
First things first, we want to start brainstorming. So you're going to head straight to ChatGPT. You don't even need the paid version of ChatGPT. You're just going to go log in. I advise you to log in because ChatGPT over time starts to learn your profile. So even when you start new tabs, it kind of has an idea of who you are and what you've got going on. So I have multiple tabs for certain aspects of my business. And so now even when I do start a new tab on, let's say, real estate investing. ChatGPT remembers things that I spoke to it about like a month ago about my tenants or about how we structured our lease agreement and um, where my property is. And so it kind of builds a profile on you. And so I would recommend when utilizing ChatGPT to stay signed in, you can of course use it on incognito. So actually for one of my properties, I had a little bit of a unique situation for one of my midterm renters where they were kind of limited on their upfront costs because they were getting funding from their job and there were a lot of moving costs, et cetera. And I also had my own concerns and limitations because I didn't want to take the property off the market unless I was paid in full for their allocated stay. And so I went to ChatGPT and I was like, here are my potential midterm renters concerns and limitations. Here are my concerns. Help me to structure out how we're going to go about this lease agreement. And ChatGPT, you know what she did? That smart bossy day, she came through with the perfect structure that ended up working out for the both of us. We signed, my midterm renters were happy, I was happy, I made money, they got to stay in a home that they loved, and it was a win-win for everybody. And I just simply was not gonna be able to come up with that because I had spoken about it out loud, I spoke about it with my partner, and I just, we couldn't come up with the perfect structure, but you know who did? ChatGPT did, so. That's just another example of how ChatGPT ended up helping me to make money and close a deal. So as we're brainstorming with AI, we're gonna sign into ChatGPT and we're gonna ask it certain prompts. There are different ways that you wanna structure your prompts, but essentially you want to ask ChatGPT questions in the same way that you would ask an expert questions. If you were going to ask a lawyer what to do about your visa situation, the exact same way that you would structure that question to a lawyer, structure it like that to ask ChatGPT. It'll figure it out. It's that smart. In this stage, you want to use ChatGPT for idea generation and market research. So you're able to do market research, of course, along with the other things like going into forums and reading through a bunch of different forum entries and asking friends and family. You may already know some of these questions because it is very helpful to start a business where either you're the target audience or you understand the target audience very, very well. However, I think that ChatGPT just helps to summarize things and keep it very organized in billet point form so that you always have some sort of reference point to go back to. It can help you to brainstorm and bounce ideas off of it so that you can dig deeper into what it is that you're truly trying to discover. Because you might think, I want to do a hair extension business, but I want to specialize in something. You can simply ask ChatGPT these questions. I want to go into hair extensions as a business owner, but I want to figure out a way that I can serve a niche audience within the hair extension community. And it'll list out some ideas for you. I'll leave a PDF down below with a list of questions and prompts that you can ask ChatGPT that'll help you to kind of streamline this brainstorming process and really get down to the nitty gritty, the meat and potatoes of the brainstorming and idea generation stage. Okay, so now that you've got the brainstorming out of the way, this is actually one of my favorite sets of creating a business and it's the brand identity stage. Hi, my name is Lynn and on this channel we talk a lot about personal finances, personal development, etc. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe because I love making videos like this and there's more to come. I'm going to stick with a small number of AI tools because we don't need 500 different tools to help us get through this. But did you know that ChatGPT can actually generate images for you, the free version of that, to generate images that align with your brand identity? And this is one of my favorite, favorite stages and one of my favorite things that ChatGPT is able to do. In this stage, you can come up with logos, color schemes, brand fonts, and so much more. You can also, of course, manually go through Pinterest and select images that kind of align with the vision you have for your brand. But with ChatGPT, you can describe your brand with words. You can input photos and allow ChatGPT to use those photos and the words that you've described to come up with a brand new 
mood board for your business. In this stage, you're able to refine your brand messaging and the visuals for your brand new online business, which is going to be an integral component for this next step. Now that you've got your business brainstorming and your brand identity out of the way, you're going to need a place for your audience to find you. You're going to have to build a website. And this part is going to knock your socks right off. And I know that building a website can be overwhelming if you don't have any design skills or coding skills, but that's where a hostinger comes in because they actually have an AI website builder that'll simply do everything for you. I'm talking pages, homepage, landing page, about us page, contact form, the whole nine yards. It's honestly such a game changer because it does all the heavy lifting for you. You just tell it what you need with a few simple questions and it creates a beautifully designed professional looking website that fits all all your needs and all of your design goals as well. It's perfect if you're super busy and you don't have the time to either learn how to build a website or just build a website from scratch even if you already do know how to or if hiring a developer right now just isn't in the budget. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do it and I want to give a major thank you to Hostinger for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. If you click on the link in my description bar or you go to hostinger.com slash it'll take you to a page that looks something like this. And depending on the time of the year that you click on the link, you may see a different promotion because from time to time, Hostinger has different sales going on. Now you can choose whatever plan suits your needs. When you get to this page and you see your subtotal, be sure to click that you have a coupon code, enter Lynn Allure, and you will get even more of a discount off of your final price. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just a code that I got from Hostinger that allows my viewers to get even more of a discount. I'm going to ask you a few questions. You can choose a WordPress website or you can choose the Hostinger website builder, which is extremely beginner friendly. I also have a WordPress website and it isn't that difficult to create, to be honest. But if you are just getting started and you want to get this done very quickly and get it out of the way, I would recommend using the website builder because I found it to be extremely user friendly. Why would you want to add unnecessary stress to your life? You know what I mean? So I already have my website set up for my businesses. So I'm going to go ahead and create a website for my social impact initiative slash nonprofit. It's called Comfort's House and I've spoken about it a little bit on YouTube but I'll probably create a separate video going over the behind the scenes and everything I've learned thus far about creating a nonprofit. But in this video in particular, I'm just going to show you the behind the scenes of creating the website. You enter the brand name and then you create a description based off of your brand, your colors, the pages you want and things like that. This video is all about using AI to help you create that online business or online brand, online real estate, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you're having a hard time coming up with a description in under 700 characters, go ahead and use ChatGPT to help you summarize that. There is no shame in your game theory. You are using the resources that are readily available for you. This page has my jaw on the floor. Mainly the hero, which is this little banner up top. I just wasn't expecting the synergy in stock images. You know, sometimes when you think of AI, you think it's just going to throw together whatever. But this came together really great on just a first try. With anything else AI related, you are going to have to go in and kind of make few tweaks and adjustments in order to have the website really reflect your brand, your messaging and your identity. Small little aesthetic tweaks can be made as well very, very easily. It still is a drag and drop kind of website, so you can go in and move things as you please. It also has a built-in AI generator, which was extremely helpful because then you can create images on the spot. You can also choose from thousands of free stock images or you can upload your own. There's also thousands of free stock videos that you can use along with uploading your own videos. So I uploaded some photos of past trips that I've taken along with some stock images for a nice mix and match. I'm sure as time goes on and we do more in-person initiatives, we'll have more photos to fill the website up with. But so far it looks really good in my opinion. I also used the AI logo generator, which is really cool. I had one free credit to use and this is what it created for me. 
Now, of course, the goal is to go through page by page and customize things to your liking and tweak them a little bit more. But the great thing about using an AI website builder is that if you don't get to customize a section just yet, you aren't stuck with those strange Latin words. Like you've seen them, you've seen them. They say like Lopem, Saron, something. I don't even know where those come from. But I guess you aren't stuck with generic words all over your screen. Also, if you use the checklist on the side, it lets you know what sections of your website have not gotten any of your attention yet and what you still need to tend to in order to complete your website. Now for my website, it is not an e-commerce store, so I don't have a products page. However, you can add a products page. Let's go if you wanted to create an e-commerce store or have an online booking website, you can do that as well. And there you have it. I built this AI website builder in minutes and you can too. You can take your time and do it all in one evening or you can do it over the course of a week. Totally up to you, but it is pretty simple and pretty affordable in my opinion compared to the options that are out there. Be sure to click the link in my description bar to take advantage of some of these offers. So if you're ready to take the next step with your business online and build a website from scratch using AI, go ahead and click that link in my description bar. Also use code Lynn Allure for extra money off so that you can focus more on your business and less on the tech details. Now that we've got our website out of the way, we're going to go ahead and claim the social media accounts on everything. Even if we're not ready to start creating on that social media platform, you just want to make sure that you own that username. Believe me, it sucks if you start a business and you start growing a brand name and you're on, let's say, TikTok and the brand name is blowing up. And then you want to start repurposing the content onto Instagram and you go to start or open the Instagram account only to find out that someone opened up the account three months into you creating on TikTok. They might have seen your username and been inspired or maybe not. Who knows? You will never know. And there's nothing you can do about it because they own it before you do. So at this stage in the game, when you want to start posting on social media, go ahead and claim that username on everything. Just claim it, and when you're ready, you can start posting on there. But I would highly encourage in today's day and age that TikTok is a great place to start with the vertical short form videos. It's kind of taking over social media at the moment. For the last couple of years, vertical short form video has really had people's attention. And I do know that when you start a new TikTok account, it kind of helps to start posting immediately because TikTok, for some reason, the algorithm starts pushing out your content more than ever at the very beginning of opening up your account. So that's a little pro tip. If you do want to start posting on TikTok, go ahead and start posting immediately after opening up the TikTok account. I don't know why or how, but for some reason, it pushes out those first few pieces of content very, very well. Another reason why I like vertical short form video at the moment is because you can repurpose it on multiple different social media accounts at the moment. Everybody's on the TikTok, everybody's on the Instagram, everybody's on the YouTube shorts, Facebook has them. There is vertical short form video almost everywhere. So go ahead and start with that because in my opinion, I think it's a lot easier to do so. However, if you are a long form kind of content girly like myself, I do still think that YouTube is a very unique and special space. It helps to create community of a lot better than a lot of these other social media platforms, but it's a little bit harder to get that initial traction going. Also on YouTube, there's no such thing as your username being taken in a sense, like the URL, the link could be taken, but the name that you go by on YouTube even if someone else goes by that name, you can also still go by that name. I would still recommend snagging that username and posting on there as frequently as you'd like to, but this is where AI comes into hand as well. AI can help you to create a content schedule. Tell ChatGPT what your current limitations are, what your current schedule looks like, some of your priorities, things you need to work around, and times that you have available to create content, and ask it to create you a calendar, a 30-day calendar, or you can do it weekly so that you're not overwhelmed. Ask ChatGPT to create a schedule for you so that you can follow that script and not be overwhelmed by how you're going to create all this content and put it out on time and be organized and follow some sort of strategy. ChatGPT can help you to figure out the strategy. And like I said, I'm going to leave some prompts down below for you so that you know 
exactly how you're going to do this. And don't worry, in that PDF that I send you, I will also include some prompts that you can use to help ChatGPT help you create a schedule that works for you. If you use Canva, there are also some AI tools available with Canva that help you to streamline the content creation process and make it even quicker than ever before. The next step is to utilize AI for marketing and customer service. Now that you've got your business out the way, you've built your website, you've got your social media up, you've got your social media content being automated, and you've got content for the next month, life is good, life is sweet, everything's great, you're gonna need to market better. And yes, social media is a great organic tool for marketing, but you can also use AI to run your ads and marketing campaigns and create data-driven ad strategies and analyze the data that you receive from your marketing campaigns. It's unbelievable. I myself am not much of a marketing girl, so AI tools that help me with marketing are just completely genius. To me, I feel like they are genius. And up here, I'm gonna list my three favorite tools that'll help you to automate your customer service, your email marketing, and your ad campaigns. And there you have it. Just like that, we have created an entire online business using AI. All you have to do is ask. Ask and you shall receive, because AI really is the personal assistant bestie that you never knew you needed, but now you have and you can't live without her. It is incredible. You could probably do all of these steps within three days if you wanted to, whereas before it might've taken you weeks, maybe even months just to get through these few steps that I just spoke about. And now with AI, you can just make life a little bit easier, start streamlining your ideas, put them to work, put them to use. And just like that, you're turning your ideas into actuality using AI. And you've set up an online business, an online brand, and you're flourishing, your business is growing, your brand is growing, your bank account is growing. We love that. We love when the BBB gets bigger, okay? So just like that, we have set up our online business. There are so, so many other ways that AI can really help you to flourish in your business and in your finances and I would love to do way more videos on this. I would love to even do some tutorials, maybe some more walkthroughs and more step-by-steps and just simply tell you guys and show you guys different ways that I use ChatGPT and other AI tools to really just make life super, super easy. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. What kind of video would you like to see next? How are you currently using any sort of AI tools, whether it's for editing, content creation, website building, emails, contracts, whatever. Let me know how you're currently using it down below and let me know what kind of videos you would love to see as well. I love you so much. Love you to the moon and back. Be true to you. Bye.